Facebook users may notice a new feature on this social media website. Male and female are not the only gender choices anymore. In fact, the social media giant has added a new option that lists about 50 different terms people can use to identify their gender. Some examples, transgender, transfluid, and intersex. Users can also choose the pronoun they'd like to be referred to publicly. Facebook wants to allow people to be able to express their genuine, authentic selves on the site, and we want them to express their whole selves. The new options come after years of lobbying from some Facebook members. It follows changes made by other sites, including Flickr and Google+. Joining us now is Ashley McGuire, a senior fellow at the Catholic Association. And Ashley, you comment on pop culture all the time from a Catholic perspective. You're very active on social media. Facebook says they want to be inclusive. How do you see this? Well, the first thing I would say is that the idea that Facebook was not already inclusive or a place where people could genuinely express themselves seems a little disingenuous. Anybody can join Facebook, and you can basically say anything you want as long as it's not offensive. So I find that a little bit strange, and if anything, I think the idea of adding 50 new categories of gender is only going to confuse people even more. If the idea is, is further clarity or, or cohesion, I just don't think it's going to achieve that effect. So many young people are on Facebook. They are being influenced by what Facebook and these other social media sites are doing. What kind of a long-term impact do you think this will have on the way young people see themselves and others? Well, I think that's a really good question, and I think that something like this is a reminder to us that, that politics and the outside world are very much intertwined with culture and pop culture, and I think especially this is a call to parents to be ever mindful of what their children are doing because think of the effect for a 10-year-old who goes on and sees that their friend is transgender or gender fluid. I mean, that's, that's confusing and damaging in many ways, I think, especially for, for people who are in a vulnerable stage of their lives. I can't imagine 50 gender des designations or what they mean. Is there any kind of definition that Facebook is putting out for these different designations? Not that I saw. I think the only thing that Facebook is trying to do really is to probably appease a lot of pressure that they've had on them to be politically correct, um, which apparently means um, 50 plus different types of gender. Where is the pressure coming from? I can't imagine that it's coming from mainstream America. No, it's not. I saw that there was a press release, or the, actually Facebook, Facebook's own press release included a quote from somebody at GLAAD. So I think it's, it's coming from outside activist groups that are really actively working to deconstruct any firm understanding of gender as being male and female. If people don't like this, is there anything we can do about it? I don't, I think really the only thing that, that you can do is it really, the only option is for parents to control how much their children are using the internet or to have conversations with them about this and maybe use this as an opportunity to explain to them that our culture has turned gender and, and what male and female really means completely upside down. But at the end of the day, Facebook is free to offer as many gender options as it likes. How can we as Catholic witness to the truth that God created man, male, and female? Well, I think there's many ways. I think the first one of them is to, to live joyfully in whatever your vocation is. And I think a lot of young people are already doing that, and I think they're doing it very well with social media. So I think we, we just need to stay engaged and active in that same marketplace and not run away or back out, um, but engage in a positive and instructive way. Ashley McGuire with the Catholic Association. Thank you for being with us. Thank you.